charm life, innocence wild, Crayola skies for a thousand miles. It's a good life in the happily ever after. Last page of the very last chapter. It's the story of a charm. to do a lush video um i'm just watching charmed having a cup of coffee um so anyways actually that's a little bit loud and annoying so i'm gonna pause it anyway um i know i said my next video is going to be the comforter bath cocktail video i don't have time to do it today i'm probably gonna have the bath tonight and then it's gonna come out um next video um but because it's my birthday today i um am going to do a bit of a lush birthday haul because one of my really close friends, Jesse from work, got me a whole bunch of stuff from Lush, um, including a bunch of new things. So I'm just going to show you what I got. I got the Sweet Lips Lip Scrub, and I love this one. I don't know what it's really supposed to smell like. To me, it smells really chocolatey, and I think that's it. I have, honestly haven't had time to even look it up or anything like that. But um, So that's that, and I think these ones are $8.95 in the store. And then she also got me the Happy Blooming Bath Melt. And it looks like a little slice of some kind of melon. And it's got like these little cherries. I don't know if you can really see it. Ah. Anyway, it's really cute. And it's got calamine lotion in it as well. So it smells like cherries. And I know calamine lotion is really, really good for the skin. It's relaxing. It's moisturizing. It's terrific. I used to love slathering it on when I had those disgusting like mosquito bites and stuff. It was just, it made me happy. So then she also got me the little UFO Space Girl Bath Ballista. And it's like um, black currant candies. And it's really cute. And it looks like a UFO. I've actually got two of these ones because I went out and I got one of them as well. So now I've got two of those. Um, and I actually have two of the uh, happy blooming things as well. So we're going to have a couple really sweet baths with that. So that's those. Ah. And then she also got me my favorite bath bomb ever. I love this one. It's my favorite. It's got um, ocean salt, seaweed. It turns the bath a gorgeous shade of blue. And I don't know. It doesn't really have a scent that I can pick out. I just, I really like it. I know some people either love it or they absolutely hate it. Um, and it can get a bit messy with the seaweed. So you can put it into um, a sock or pantyhose or whatever. And it'll keep the mess inside. But it's just great for the skin. And the blue color just really relaxes me. So that's my favorite. Um, now I'm just going to quickly grab um, the other two things that I got for my birthday from Lush as well. And I'm just going to pop this back. This is just so you can see it. How I keep all of my Lush bath bombs, massage bars, and um, what else? Um, some bath melts. I've got the uh, Happy Blooming ones in here. The ones like You've Been Mangoed I don't keep in here. Um, you've Been Mangoed in Dreamtime because they melt really easily. But um, Floating Island, Melting Marshmallow Moments I keep in here. So then, because I get this pretty much any time, Christmas, birthdays, whatever, everybody knows my favorite bath cocktail to do is, um, I don't know, I call it like my heaven ocean bath because it's like big fluffy clouds on top of blue water and I love it. So I use the big blue um, bath ballistic and then Jesse also got me, oh, I love this, it's um, blue skies and fluffy white clouds. I blanked there for a second but um, I just love this smell. I really didn't like it when I first got it and now it's just so relaxing. I love it. Um, I can get so many baths out of this when I get them. I chop them up. I think I've still got four or five slices from another bubble bar. Um, but yeah, it's really nice, and they're they're huge. Like, look how chunky that is. I can cover my whole face. Anyway, so that's that. Ah. Um, the reason I don't put my bubble bars um, open in the basket is just because they get, they tend to get really um, 
hard and they're difficult to crumble. And then last but not least, this is what I throw into my blue bath as well. You've been mangoed. It is, it's like melting already. It's so warm. Um, ah, it smells so delicious. It's lemon, lime, lemongrass. It's a really citrusy smell. It smells up the whole bathroom. It's awesome. And I mix that in with my blue skies and my big blue. And that's my favorite bath cocktail ever. I get it every birthday and holiday. It's awesome. So that's um, my lush birthday haul. I'm not having my family birthday party and friends birthday party until the weekend. So if I do get any more lush stuff, that's going to be coming um, the following week. But hopefully by, let me think, Friday or the weekend, I think I'm going to have my um, comforter bath video out. Yes. My brain's kind of dead right now. I'm not even done my first cup of coffee. But um, I wanted to show that to you guys. So I hope you guys have a good day. And I will talk to you next time. And it will hopefully be the comforter bath cocktail video. Bye for now. Hey guys. So just a sort of final addendum to the video I made. Um, I got it not wrapped. Um, Jesse had it not wrapped for me. So I got this really cool scarf with it. And I didn't know this. But this is really hard to do with one hand. Here we go. 100% green spun cool iron hand wash. Oh, here it is. Uh, two 500 milliliter plastic bottles were recycled to make this not wrap. How amazing is that? That's what it says. I don't know if you can see it because I can't see it, but yeah. So two 500 milliliter plastic bottles were, here, I'll put this kind of on so I can show you. It's really cute and I like it. And that's my lush stuff that I got from Jessie, so this video goes out to her, even though I have no idea if she's going to see it. But thanks so much, and I will talk to you guys again next time. For more information about the products you've seen today, or to purchase your own, please go to www.lush.ca or visit your local store for more details. Thanks for watching!